In this video, you are going to uncover what ignited the Infinity Warfare and how some units came to be. You also learn why the battle is fought. Let's begin. Previously, the Emperor arrived at the desolate place where Krohn had been waiting. But something went horribly wrong. The closer he got, the weaker he became. By the time he reached Krohn, he could barely walk and was crawling. Krohn's men roughly picked him up and dragged him to Krohn. Krohn looked at him with a sinister confusion. Is this the great Emperor Ilias? He sneered. He couldn't comprehend the sight before him. Yet, for some unknown reason, Krohn felt an unimaginable joy and strength surge through him. He felt so powerful that he leaped from the ground, soaring above the clouds into space, then back down again. He repeated this three times, leaving his men in awe. Ilias realized with dawning horror that he was dying. He tried to flee, but he was too weak. Kron eventually stopped testing his newfound strength and returned to the helpless Emperor Ilias, now held captive by Kron's men. Ilias, tears streaming down his face, pleaded, Why are you doing this to me, Kron? I am your brother. Kron said nothing. He stepped closer to Ilias, whose gaunt face now resembled a skull like a man on the brink of death. Krohn raised his hand and touched his brother's head. Then it happened. A blinding burst of light exploded from the Emperor, forcing the men around them to shield their eyes. Krohn opened his mouth wide and began draining every bit of light from Ilias. He continued until there was nothing left. The horrified onlookers watched as Krohn turned his gaze towards them. He began absorbing the light from them too, their life force, their very souls. Without it, they were lifeless husks. Krohn drained the life of over 10,000 men that day, each one collapsing into lifeless, empty shells. He felt ecstatic, powerful beyond measure. By the time he reached the kingdom, he found their parents paralyzed in terror. He cried out, Why did you do this to me? Their father managed to whisper, his final words before Krohn drained him, you are death. Krohn savored the name. If his brother was the emperor, then he would be death incarnate. He laughed maniacally. Then he remembered the emperor's pregnant wife. He could feel her crippling fear and hear her desperate thoughts. Where are you, emperor? We need your help. Death whispered cruelly, he is dead. Her heart sank with unbearable dread. Death entered her room, whispering again, Don't worry, I'll make it quick. Frozen with fear, she felt the cold presence of death. As she opened her eyes, Krohn, now death, was there. He touched her head, draining the life from her and her unborn child. After that, he leaped into the sky, reaching space, and drained the life force of every living thing on Earth. The once vibrant planet became a desolate, colorless wasteland. Krohn then left to drain every life in the universe. While he was gone, Emperor Ilias began to regain consciousness. Miraculously, he gained infinite power within minutes. He journeyed out of the solar system, into the Milky Way, beyond the galaxy, and out of the universe. He watched in horror as universes in the multiverse vanished one by one. The Emperor fled to the Omniverse. But a thought haunted him, to fight Krohn, he needed the strongest heroes across the multiverse. So he returned and searched. On one planet, he found a red-haired girl, the sole survivor of a radiation outburst, inexplicably alive and enormous. He rescued her. On another planet, he found a woman banished and burning, believed to be a witch. He saved her too. On a distant planet, he found the last survivors of the dying star's radiation. He rescued them and trained them as knights. Returning to the Omniverse, the Emperor left Death to consume the infinite multiverse. In his spaceship, he watched functioning multiverses, contemplating his next move, he decided to create his own universe. Over millions of years, he observed humanity evolve in his multiverse, eventually, he created more universes until he had his own multiverse. Of all the planets, he loved Earth the most, sometimes, he intervened to protect it. 
He placed his knights there, the red-haired giant girl, the flame woman, and others who never aged within his timeless spaceship, planet Earth thrived under. The Emperor's watchful eye, but something sinister loomed. Death had consumed and twisted their home multiverse into a nightmarish wasteland, inhabited by soulless abominations. Still hungry, Death grew furious upon discovering his brother's new multiverse. He erupted in rage, screaming, You can't keep getting away. You can't keep getting away. For years, his terrifying screams echoed through the multiverse, tormenting its inhabitants every hundred years. The cries of countless souls wailed, You can't keep getting away from me. The screams were so haunting and mournful that they plunged the multiverse into long-term depression for five years each time. Eventually, Death consumed his distorted multiverse in his insatiable hunger. He moved to the Emperor's multiverse, manipulating creatures to fight and kill each other, making it easier to train their souls. When diplomacy prevailed, he sent his army to annihilate them. He continued his rampage until he reached the Emperor's beloved Earth. The Emperor, in all his power, had had enough. Death had destroyed every planet in the multiverse except Earth. His manipulation couldn't touch Earth because the Emperor was there. Unbeknownst to Death, the Emperor had transported all power units and technology to Earth, including the nuclear acid mech, planetary spider, and General Tort Little, with his advanced knowledge. They even built an Earth ship, preparing for a war that might destroy Earth. Death could replicate them technologies but not the unique heroes trained by the Emperor. If they died, the Emperor resurrected them. The battle began a battle to determine the multiverse's future. A battle between the Emperor and Death, a battle in which players must give their all. Fighting Death is like battling an inevitable, impossible fate, Death itself. In this final version of Infinity Warfare, the outcome is in your hands. Will the Emperor triumph? or will death prevail again? The fate of the multiverse lies with you, the players. Remember, legends never die. In every battle of life you find yourself. Fight with all your might. Making this video was a battle for me, and as you can see, I have won. See you in the next video. Stand firm in the face of darkness, for even the smallest light can drive it away. Today, we fight not for survival, but for the hope of a new dawn.